solving exponential equations with u substitution. I want to look at these first just so we can get a taste before we actually get into the exponential stuff. So when I look at this, remember what I want to do is I want to get something that looks like x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. When I look at that, if I called this a u, or I substituted in u, I would have 2u squared plus, and if this was also a u, 3u minus 2. Now this is a lot easier to solve than having this x plus 2 in. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to let u equal x plus 2. Now you have to write this out on an exam or your homework. Otherwise, the instructor is going to be like, well, what are you substituting in? It's really important to have that there. So now let's just solve it. So we have 2u squared plus 3u minus 2 equals 0. I'm going to have to do the grouping method here, so because I have a number out here. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And I know that 4 times negative 1 will add to 3. So I'll have 2u squared plus 4u minus u minus 2 equals 0. Since I'm doing the grouping method, I'm going to look at my first two and, well, I could pull out a 2u. So I'll have u plus 2. Since I have a negative here, I know I'm going to take out a negative something. Since there's nothing really in common, the only thing in common is negative 1. So once again, I'll have u plus 2 equals 0. And that's good because remember these two have to match. So when we factor it, we're going to take out the u plus 2, and then we'll have 2u minus 1 left over. Now some instructors want you to substitute back in here, but I'm going to solve it and then substitute. So here we're going to have u equals negative 2, and we're going to have u equals 1 half. I'm going to draw an arrow here up. So we know that u is x plus 2. So instead of writing u, I'm going to write x plus 2. So we have x plus 2 equals negative 2. And then for this guy, we'll have x plus 2 equals 1 half. And now it's just a case of solving for x. So when I subtract 2 from both sides, because I want to get x by itself, I get x equals 0. And then I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. Um, if you want to do this by hand, we need a common denominator. So that would be 2, so we will have 1 half minus 4 over 2. So it turns out x is going to be negative 3 halves. This should be a 0. And it actually turns out great. So these are our two solutions. Once again, once again, remember, we want x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. I have to remember some of my exponential, um, my exponent rules. This is the same thing as, this is the same thing as x to the one-third squared. Because remember, when you have a power to a power, you're multiplying. So x to the one-third squared is the same thing as x to the two-thirds. Plus 3 times x to the one-third plus 2 equals 0. Now hopefully you see what we're going to use substitute. We're going to substitute u in for x to the one-third. So we're going to let u equal x to the one-third. So now we have u squared plus 3u plus 2 equals 0. And now it's just a matter of solving it. Well, we know that u plus 2 times u plus 1 equals 0. So u equals negative 2 and u equals negative 1. Remember up here, u is x to the third. So let me bring it up here so I have a little bit more room. So instead of writing u, I'm going to write x to the one-third equals negative 2, and x to the one-third equals negative 1. To get rid of a third, we're going to cube both sides. So it turns out x equals negative 8, and we're going to cube both sides here, and x equals negative 1. Let's try this one. So once again, we still want x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. I have x to the 1 half here, and I have x to the first. Well, one thing I know is that x to the 1 half squared is the same thing as x to the 2 over 2 
which is x to the first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to x to the one half squared minus seven times x to the one half. Now I haven't done anything different here. I'm just separating out the x to the one half plus twelve equals zero. So as you can see, I'm going to use substitute x to the one half. So we're going to let u equal x to the one half. So let's do that. So we have u squared minus seven u plus twelve equals zero. We're going to factor just as usual. So we're going to have u minus three times u minus four equals zero. u equals three and u equals four. So now I'm going to substitute back. I know that u is x to the one half. So I'll have x to the one half equals three and x to the one half equals four. I want to get rid of this one half so I'm going to square it. So it turns out x equals nine and square this one and it turns out that x equals sixteen. Let's continue with the same idea. I notice that I have a base of nine and a base of three. I need those to be the same. I need those to be the same. Well, I know that three squared is nine. So I'm gonna have three to the second to the x plus. Now remember, when we're adding, it's the same thing as multiplying. So this is the same thing as saying three to the x times three to the second, because remember when we multiply, we add the exponents, minus 10 equals zero. Now I notice that I have three to the second, but what happens is, is that I don't want three squared to be my u, I want the x value to be my u. So all I have to do is change this to three to the x squared and the rest of it will stay the same. So now I'm gonna let u equal three to the x. So we'll have u squared plus u times three squared, which is nine minus 10 zero. So we'll have u squared plus nine u minus 10 equals zero. We're going to factor as usual. So we're going to have u plus 10 times u minus one equals zero. So u equals negative 10 and u equals one. So now let's put that back in. Since we know that we let u equal three to the x. We're gonna have three to the x equals negative 10. And we're gonna have three to the x equals one. Well, it can't be this because we can't think of an exponent, a real exponent that will make this a negative number. I know that x has to be zero because three to the zero is one. So it turns out our answer is x equals zero. I want you to try this one first. So press pause, solve it, and come back to see the solution. This one's a little more difficult than the ones we've done before, mainly because we have this three to the negative x. The first thing that I did was I actually changed three to the negative x to one over three to the x equals five. I really couldn't think of anything that I could use substitute, so what I actually did was I just multiplied everything by three to the x. So this gives me three to the x squared minus 14. Now three to the x times one over three to the x is one equals five times three to the x. I wanna make it equal to zero. So I'll have three to the x squared minus five times three to the x minus 14 equals zero. And now I think it's really easy to see what we're going to u substitute. So we're gonna let u equal three to the x. So now we have u squared minus five u minus 14 equals zero. When I factor it, I get u minus seven times u plus two equals zero. So u equals seven and u equals negative two we know that u is three to the x, so I'm gonna back substitute. So I'm gonna have three to the x equals seven, and three to the x equals negative two. Well, we don't have to do this one any farther because we know that that's not going to be a real solution. 
So the next thing is I'm going to change these so I know that the natural log of 3 to the x equals the natural log of 7. This will pop out front so I have x times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 7. So x equals the natural log of 7 over the natural log of 3 which is approximately 1.77.